Uh, my name's Bob McElvain. I'm from uh, Orland, Pennsylvania. Uh, I lost my son. I'm trying to when I did this to the press, I wasn't able to get through it, but maybe the second time around. I lost my son at Merrill Lynch. Can't do it. Mm. And it's not just because it's 9-11 now, it's just, no matter when I speak, it happens. But it brings the cold reality to the whole thing. There's a lot of people dying in the world. And we're talking horrible deaths. The deaths of those people down there were horrible. To this day, I just had a discussion with, uh, I'm sorry, I forget your name, but I'm still trying to find out what happened to him. I want to know to that last second what happened to him. Every parent wants to know that. I've run into a lot of parents in you know, my neighborhood of lost children, and you just want to know that last second what horror that your child was going through. And I think about it every day, and it rips me apart. And to do this, it truly is a double-edged sword because I really would, many days I want to go to an island and just sit there the rest of my life, ignore the rest of the world. And as my son said yesterday, he said, why don't you be happy? Try to be happy. Well, it's impossible to be happy. I have happy moments. The suffering isn't as bad, but the t pain is still very immense. It's always there. And when you do something like that, it brings you right back to day one. Day one I have every day of my life. I've made that choice, it's been a wonderful journey. And I do it for my son because he really believed that knowledge is power. And if anything you get out of this, it's knowledge and you have to take it out to the people, out to the American public. That's the only way we can do this. The people of this country must realize what the truth is. And history is replete with so many lies and they continue day in, day out. And it's just not this Bush administration, right. it's every administration. That's right. And trust me, I'm not, a, I'm not an authority up here. All these other people are great authorities. I'm, this is a learning process for me. I've made every commission meeting. I've been involved with the widows. I mean, they've done tremendous work. What they've done, the fact that this is out in the public, it would have been an impossibility. Just don't forget, George Bush never wanted this commission. We would have had Kissinger as the head of the commission if it wasn't for the widows. They went to him and said to him, didn't you have some dealings with the Bin Ladens in your past? And with that, he quit the commission. Yet we would have had him. So it's, it's just so important that you take a lot out of this and take it out there onto the streets. Because I just deal with the people, deal with my relatives, deal with my people in my neighborhood, they still look at it and say, well, I still want to be safe. No one wants to lose their life. And they look at the president and say, well, he's our protector. Our military is our protector. Well, but the thing is, this is the way it is. If you're raising a family and you have three kids, all you want to know is you're protected. And I'm not saying that this is right. I'm just saying is it's so difficult to get to people to explain to them, where do I start? Do I start in Iran in 53 or do I go into the Congo in 60? Right, exactly. It's a constant thing, but it's an education. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I think there's a lot of people, it's a lost cause in this country. That's why we have to get out to the students of the world. And they have to understand where this all comes from. It's connecting the dots. My son didn't die just because George Bush wasn't inattentive. It has a lot to do with Clinton. It has a lot to do with Bush. It goes all the way back to Eisenhower. Yes. Okay, so That's I just... Right. And this is the legacy of my son. If I would have died in those towers, he'd be doing the same thing. He wants to know the truth. I want to know the truth. And I have found myself in a position, I get invited to this just because I'm a parent. It brings a lot of power to it. And I've had the opportunity to speak around the world. Although I won't fly, I do a lot of TV and, and radio, but I haven't flown yet. Uh, but it, it, it's been a, a great experience for me because I have, I'm an educator. I was a teacher most of my life. And to me, it's all education. And that's what it has to be. We just constantly have to educate, educate, educate. And then maybe people will start participating. And that, to me, is the solution. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, President.